You know, you can throw around the expression that God is love, and most of the time it's become cliche to most of us. But the real question is, is the love of God personal? Do you believe that God loves you for yourself? Because the degree to which you realize and know the love of God will determine the degree of your success in this life, but especially in overcoming hardships and trials in this life. This is revealed in the life and ministry of the Apostle John. I'm not sure if you know this, but John was the only disciple who was never murdered and was never martyred. In other words, the enemy could not kill John. He was unstoppable. And the secret to the unstoppable faith of John was his personal revelation of the love of God. Simply put, John knew how much God loved him and how he was made perfect in the perfect love of God. Well, how do we know this? Well, one clue is his continuous reference of himself or to himself as the disciple whom Jesus loved. He continually reminded himself and even referred to himself as the disciple whom Jesus loved. Let me show you. John 13, 23 says, the disciple whom Jesus loved. Again in John 19, the disciple whom Jesus loved. Again in John 21, the disciple whom Jesus loved. Again in John 21, the disciple whom Jesus loved. Later you can see it was John's personal revelation of the love of God that empowered him at the cross. It was John who said, greater love has no one than this than to lay down one's life for his friends. You see, John's faith was empowered by a revelation of the love of Jesus, so much so that his faith in the love of God overcame his fear of death. Out of all the apostles, John was the only disciple who was at the cross when Jesus died. The rest, they all cowered and were overcome by their fear. Thank you for watching I Believe X. You've now been X.